20 numbers of projective closure of the affine monomial curves. And this is joint work with Professor Nath Singh Gupta and Dr. Jaydeep Shah. So let's start. So first I discuss about the what is our main objective of this talk. So numerical semigroups defines the numerical semigroup rings. And these are the important object in the study of the singularities of algebraic curves. And these, cu these semigroups defines the, that uh, class of curve is called the affine monomial curves. And the higher analog of numerical semigroup is called the affine semigroups. And these semigroups are also important for the study of the singularity in commutative algebra and geometry. So uh, main objective of this uh, work is to understand the particular class of affine semigroup in N2, which defines the projective closure of uh, affine monomial curves. And the study of uh, projective closure of affine mono monomial curves have been done by Barmezo and Herzog and many more. And they mainly focused on the cohen macaulay properties and the Betty numbers of the projective closures. And in this work, we study those property of the projective closure, which preserve after the after, uh, projective closure of a fine monomial curve and their associated semigroups. And we want to explore those property of a fine monomial curves that preserve after taking the projective closure. So let's uh, discuss some background for the talk. So numerical semigroup is a, a non-empty subset of a, a non-negative integers natural uh, such that it, uh, it is a submonoid of natural number and its complement is finite. And this is uh, the generalization of this semigroup is dif uh, discussed in the Om Prakash talk. And the uh, X is said to be a uh, generating, set, uh, generating set of numerical semigroup gamma if the element can be written as the linear combination of the uh, element of x over nat uh, natural number. And the minimal generating set x is said to be if no proper subset of x generates the gamma. And the cardinality of that x is called the embedding dimension of the numerical semigroup. So what is affine monomial curve? So affine monomial curve is uh, if you take a curve uh, parameterized by the t to the power n1 to t to the power nr where n1 to nr generates a numerical semigroup, then that image gamma is called the affine monomial curves. And the defining ideal of that curve is given by the homomorphism eta. Defined by the homomorphism eta. And the coordinate ring is a k quotient, k x1 to xr quotiented by p gamma. It's called the homogeneous coordinate ring of the affine monomial curve c gamma. And the cruel dimension of this uh, fine monomial curve is 1. And then what is projective closure of a fine monomial curve? So if you choose a particular semigroup which is generated by ni to nr comma nr minus ni and if you parameterize the curve using this semigroup then that, uh, that curve is called the projective closure of a fine monomial curve. And the defining ideal of the projective closure is given by the homomorphism eta h. And if you see the defining ideal of p gamma closure is the nothing but the homogenization of the defining ideal of affine monomial curve. And the cruel dimension of this projective closure, the homogeneous coordinate ring of this curve is 2. So this need not be a cohen macaulay But affine monomial curves are always cohen macaulay So for understanding the how the projective closure behaves, we took the four, three important family which have in literature many, many more uh, uh, behavior uh, and all these family have one strong resemblance that all are in affine dimension 4 space and there is no upper bound on the minimal generating set of the defining ideal of these curves. And we investigated the Cohen-Macaulay Cohen property of the projective closure of these curves. So if you see the, this, th this uh, table, in the first row you have seen the, you can see the uh, Betty number of the affine, affine curve and the Betty number of the projective closure 
is same and the cohen mccullough ness is also old but for brzezinski the betty number for affine curve and betty number for projective closure is different even the last betty number for brzezinski curve is unbounded but for projective closure it is one and similarly for arslan curve the uh, betty numbers are totally different so gluing what is gluing of numerical semi group so this technique is used for creating example of local uh, one dimensional gorenstein curve and complete intersection curve so gluing is defined as if gamma 1 and gamma 2 are two numerical semi group minimally generated by these number and if you choose p and q are two non generating element from uh, gamma 1 and gamma 2 such that their gcd is 1 and if you take the new numerical semi group which is generated by q m1 to q ml and p n1 to p n l then this semi group is called the gluing of the semi group of gamma 1 and gamma 2 so we want to so projective closure need not be cohen mccullough so we want to create an example using this technique when we, when uh, uh, cohen mccullough projective closure so if gamma 1 and gamma 2 are uh, of a uh, numerical semi groups such that their uh, projective closure is cohen mccall then the what happen for if gamma is a gluing of gamma 1 and gamma 2 then is a uh, projective closure of c gamma uh, projective closure of c gamma is cohen mccall or not so in general it is not cohen mccall so under what condition we give on the gluing such that their projective closure is become cohen mccall so we define one special gluing which is called star gluing so if you if you restrict the condition on the the non generating element p and q and where p is the multiple of the last generating element of gamma 1 and q is any non generating non generating element of gamma 2 with some condition then we prove that if gamma is a star gluing of gamma 1 and gamma 2 such that their projective closure is cohen mccallay or gorenstein then the projective closure of the star gluing of uh, star gluing of gamma 1 and gamma 2 is also cohen mccallay and gorenstein so from this technique we can create an infinite example of cohen mccallay projective closures so next next property which we want to study is the betty how the betty numbers behave for projective closure and for and uh, for projective closure so using uh, grobner's basis technique we can we prove that if gamma is a numerical semi group such that its projective closure is arithmetically cohen mccallay and if there exists a minimal grobner basis of defining ideal with respect to some uh, uh, some monomial ordering such that last variable xn belongs to support of all non homogeneous element then the betty number of a fine monomial curve and the betty number of its projective closure is same and from that uh, uh, betty numbers of a fine monomial curve associated to arithmetic sequence is given by gamenes and sen gupta and srinivasan and from our theorem we we prove that the betty number for the projective closure associated to arithmetic sequence is also is same as the betty numbers of the a fine monomial curves so next we want to study the how the uh, betty numbers uh, betty number sim, uh, pr projective closure behaves in the case of the simple gluing of numerical semi group and watanabe define this uh, simple gluing if gamma is a numerical semi group minimally generated by these numbers and d is any non generating element then the new numerical semi group which is generated by these numbers is called the simple gluing of gamma uh, gamma and this uh, this uh, simple gluing is used to create an example of one dimensional gorenstein uh, monomial curves and we prove that the there is uh, the relation for simple simple gluing, the betty number relation for simple gluing in case of a fine monomial curve is given by stamate and we prove that the same relation hold for the projective closure also and we prove the if uh, if original uh, if gamma is a, a c gamma clo uh, closure is arithmetically cohen mccallay and gamma 1 is a simple gluing then the c gamma 1 closure is also arithmetically cohen mccallay and gorenstein if 
if original one is Gorenstein. So that means the uh, for affine case, in case of a simple green, the affine case and the result ho holds for the affine case as well as for the projective closure. Next is the uh, simplicial affine semigroup. So Om Prakash defined the affine semigroups and I, uh, I will define the simplicial affine semigroup. What is simplicial affine semigroup? So if uh, let S be an affine semigroup in A and D and affine semigroup is said to be simplicial if there exist D linearly independent elements in the minimal generating set of S and for any element of uh, semigroup the, the multiple of that elements can be written as the linear combination of those t elements over the natural number. And uh, we assume that S is simplicial of uh, affine semigroup fully embedded in ND, which means that it is subalgebra of the polynomial ring. Here R is R is a semigroup semi ring corresponding to the affine semigroup S, and IS is the defining ideal of KS, which is the kernel of the homomorphism phi, which is defined by zi goes to x to the power ai. And the associated graded ring of R is defined as this. So for if you take d equals to n, 1, that means the for numerical semigroup, the Sahin and Arsalan gave the Grobner basis criteria for checking the cohen macaulay of the associated graded ring. And for Projective closure, the associated graded ring is isomorphic to the semigroup ring itself. So, and we extend the result for associated graded ring of a simplicial FN semigroup ring, and we prove that if if uh, if there is a re reduction ideal of the maximal ideal of semigroup ring, and semigroup ring is Cohen Macaulay, and G is a minimal Grobner basis of the defining ideal with respect to some special. Uh, monomial ordering, then associated graded ring of R is Cohen Macaulay. If the variable corresponding to the uh, those D elements do not divide the leading monomial of all FIs, then we can say the associated graded ring is a Cohen Macaulay. And we are also able to prove that the under some condition, uh, the Betty numbers of the associated graded ring is same as the Betty number of the uh, semigroup ring itself. 